Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to replace your RAM on this Dell Inspiron 1525. It's a very simple procedure. What you do is flip this bad boy over. Now, I always um, would recommend taking the battery out of the laptop before you do that. And then we're going to have to take out all these Phillips screws. There's about eight of them. It's your little Phillips screwdriver. And take these bad boy out. Okay, I think I got all these loosened up. A little one on the edge here. Maybe special. All right, I got the, all those out of the way. I'll show you guys a little close here so you guys can see. So, right there is your RAM. This little area right here is your RAM. And it has a little clips right here that you move. You move these little clips and the RAM comes right up like that. Okay. And you take it out. You just move the little clips. There's two clips, one on each side. You move these little clips and you can get the RAM to swing right up. And that's all it does. And then you just pull it right out. Okay. I already got my replacement RAM. I'm going to put it in here and it clips right into place. That's all there is to it. Not a lot of, it won't give you a lot of trouble. You know, you just put your new RAM in and just clip right into place. And that's it. Done. Simple. One of the most simplest things you can do for your laptop. To bring it, to bring up the speed or to bring it up to the uh, the next generation, you know, because a lot of the newer operating systems need more RAM. So a good way to have the operating system work flawlessly is to upgrade the RAM. Now this specific computer right here can actually have up to six gigabytes of RAM on it. So that's that's good for anybody that has this computer so you can use all the way up to Windows 10 on this still for this model computer so that is that is great for this model of computer so you know I would suggest if you have it you upgrade your RAM here get your Windows 10 and you'll be good to go because you know it's very very weird so See, that's how quick and easy it was, guys. So it wasn't any anything really difficult. And all I'm going to do now is put all my screws back in. And that'll be it. It was that quick and simple, guys. How to remove and replace the RAM in this system. That's all there was to it. So, Thank you for watching the video. Hope it was informative, helpful. It was, it'll help you in the future. And thanks for stopping by the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.